Hello, so I have an AEM dry flow air filter on my uh, F-150 and it's about due for cleaning. Now, um, some people clean them like four or five times a year. I try to do it at least twice a year. Probably should clean it more, but um, it hadn't been cleaned in a while, so I'm gonna open it up and see how bad it looks. But I'll show you the cleaning process. All right, so this is a 2015 F-150. Uh, this is the 2.7 liter twin turbo, and I know it says K&N on there, but I had a K&N and it went with AEM. So just undo the clips, and this should come out from back there, and there it is. So now we're going to clean it. And this is a dry flow, so you don't have to oil this one. So we're going to take this out, and I'll show you how to clean it properly. Okay, so here it is, uh, my AEM filter. See it says AEM on the side. Now this is the dirty side, so this is the side that uh, that all the air comes through first, and then this is your clean side. So when you clean it, they have an AEM cleaner, but I just I still had some K&N air filter cleaner, so you can use this. So what we're gonna do is spray down both sides. We're gonna spray it down um, this side, and then I'm gonna flip it over and spray down the other side but you really want to get this one nice and soaking wet, the dirty side, you want to get it, because that's where all the dirt, most of the dirt is. So we're gonna spray it down. So that side's good and wet, and we're gonna flip it over and then uh, spray the other side. Alright, so when you get both sides sprayed, you're going to let this soak 10 minutes. Now, you don't want it to dry, so don't leave it out in the sun. You want it to, uh, that little critter, hey critter. So you, you don't want it to dry completely. You want it to um, just soak. So don't leave it out in the sun because you don't want it to dry. So move it to the shade um, or inside or something. Uh, you can even put it in a plastic bag if you want to. But 10 minutes, let's see. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. I put it in a bag and set it in my garage. Um, a little bit longer than 10 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it out and we're going to take the water hose and we are going to spray through the filter, spray from the clean side, we'll spray into the clean side to knock all the dirt that's built up on the dirty side. So you always want to do that. You want to spray from the, the clean side through to break up all that dirt and knock that out of there. So. And you don't want to use a high pressure. So if you have like a, a head on your on your uh, spray nozzle, you don't want to put it on jet. You just want to put it on like a, a light, um, maybe like a light wash or whatever. You don't want to use anything too strong. So I'm going to do that real quick. I did that. I'm gonna just gently, um, gently wash this side because I don't want to push any dirt into into the um, filter. really dirty you may have to spray it again and uh, clean it again which I might do um, because you're supposed to continue to clean it until the water runs clear out of it. Mine is coming out pretty dirty. That may be good enough for tonight. It's definitely much better than it was. Um, so yeah so now you let it dry. And you don't want to leave it out in the sun, you want it to dry naturally, so probably uh, if you have another spare um, air filter, you put that in while you're waiting for this one to dry. And you can use a light uh, air compressor to blow through it, but don't use anything too strong. Um, but again, blow from the clean side through to the dirty side. So there we go, there is my new uh, clean air filter. 
after it dries, I will put it back in the truck. So, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. See ya. So, I'm gonna hit it again, sprayed it again on this side. Um, so, I'm gonna clean it again. And this is on a soft wash, so it's not really strong. Um, it's not really too harsh on the uh, on the material. thinking this looks really good um, still soaking wet as you can see but yep I'll let this dry and I'll put it in okay so here is my AEM filter it is has been sitting in the garage overnight so it's dry um, and clean so I'm gonna put it in now so I went ahead last night because I had to drive my truck today so I went ahead and Shimmy it this way. There we go. So I took the original um, filter that was in it when I bought the truck and put it back in there um, so I could drive it today. So I'm going to pull that one out. There we go. It's hard to do with one hand. And then I'm going to put the uh, clean AM filter back in. Now you put it in just like that with the white side up. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with one hand. Let's see. It's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> it's a lot easier with two hands. Okay, all right, so there it is sitting flat. And then you push those grooves, those little notches into the uh, holes there. And then don't forget to clip this on the front. And there you go. And you are ready to go another um, 5,000 miles or longer, depending on how often you need to change yours. And that's it. Hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See ya.